from the campus of California State University, Sacramento. This is Made at Sac State. Welcome, welcome to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We are here to share the Sac State story and to celebrate our students and the people who are preparing them for the future. It's truly my pleasure to welcome you to the very best business and economic forecast in town. For more than five decades, the College of Business Administration has cultivated excellence in its graduates and developed business leaders. CBA is a leader in business education in the state of California and across the nation. Thank you both very much for joining us. We have Dean Sanjay Varshne, Dean of the College of Business Administration, and Jonathan Letterer, who is a co-author of the Sacramento Business Review. Before we get into our program, gentlemen, I'd like you both to just give us a quick uh, forecast, a long-term forecast for the Sacramento region. Dean Varshne, will you begin? Sure. Uh, we are very uh, pleased to see the Sacramento economy uh, improving uh, quite a bit from where we used to be a couple of years ago. 2013 is looking very promising. Uh, you know, 2012, you know, we've told uh, people that uh, the recovery is going to be underway, and we are really pleased to see that all the signs that we have seen so far are very optimistic, uh, whether it's the housing sector, whether it's the banking industry, whether it's a small business economy, the labor market, all in all, Sacramento seem to be, uh, seems to be doing pretty well in terms of the economic recovery. Yeah. And Jonathan? Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Uh, one of the things we focus a lot on in our report is what employment, our outlook for that. And um, we are modestly optimistic that we're going to see continue to see job growth here. Uh, we have government, which is a big uh, employer here. For the past few years, it's, we've seen job cuts in that area. Now we think we're going to see some growth because of tax revenues being higher because the economy has been doing better over the past few years. Housing's also doing better. That's led to more confidence. Um, people able to borrow more money. And so, um, yeah, we think that there's going to be uh, modest growth overall for the region. Indeed, Varshney, let's talk about uh, the Sacramento Business Review. What can you tell us about this report that you've been preparing? Uh, you know, we are very, very proud and pleased to be celebrating the fifth anniversary of our effort that started five years ago. Uh, this is the most comprehensive economic commentary and report you're going to find for the entire region. Uh, we have a great team of analysts uh, that do this as a public service. Uh, they do, the, do this two times a year. And um, what you see in front of you is a, is a very comprehensive forecast uh, allowing people to get a sense as to what the region is, uh, is going to bring in terms of the uh, economy. Uh, if you look at the Sacramento region, it's a large, vibrant economic center with two point, over 2.3 million people, more than 1.2 million jobs. And uh, really, it's a large, uh, you know, we are larger than half the states in the United States. Mm. And so we believe that our work our research, our analysis is tremendously important for all the businesses uh, as well as the, the, the community in general. And Jonathan, what can you say about the reports you co-authored? Yeah, I would agree with that and uh, I think the timing of when we launched it was, you know, turned out to be pretty fortuitous because of the fact that, I mean, it was 09. I mean, there was a lot of scared people. We were at the depths of the Great Recession. And I think what our report kind of helped provide a beacon in terms of, you know, People didn't really know what was happening. I think the public service that we provided by that was very helpful. And I've received, and I know our team has received a great deal of positive feedback from readers of the report and people that have come to our forecast events. So uh, I think it's been a very, uh, it, it's, it's gone way further than I ever thought it would when we started it five years ago. What can you say about uh, your mission and the work that you're doing and your staff is doing in the College of Business? So as a dean uh, of uh, a very large business school uh, in, in California, uh, you know, we are, we are very, very uh, proud of the work we do. You know, we meet the educational mission. Uh, you know, we have more than 5,000 students in the business school that we serve. But what is more critical is the impact we have on the economy and on the region through the work we do. So there are many other aspects of the business school besides just what we do in terms of teaching in the classroom, the students we serve, uh, and of course, the graduation, you know, of uh, uh, these folks then and, and as they enter the workforce, uh, the employers uh, needs and, and um, uh, everything else that goes on in the community. Yeah. Well, you've already touched on this a little bit, but how close to the community is your your college, your students, your faculty, staff? Extremely close. So I'll give you some ideas about our presence in the community. Yeah. We are celebrating a 50th anniversary of our ACSB accreditation which is the premier accrediting body for business schools. It's a 5% elite club worldwide. Over that period of time, we have graduated more than 45,000 students. 
85% of our student body upon graduation stays back in the region and fulfills uh, uh, the, the needs of the, the different employers, whether it's accounting or finance or marketing or human resource management. Uh, and um, we see them on a daily basis. Uh, the economic engine of Sacramento is being driven by Sacramento State and the College of Business. We thank you both so much for joining us. We've just barely touched you know, the surface of, of your college. It's just in the wonderful work that you do. Um, so thank you for being here. You set the tone for the rest of the show, and we're going to have more on what you're doing and the great work you're doing on our website. So uh, if you want a little more information on uh, the show and the College of Business, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come, The Power of an Idea, the Center for Entrepreneurship. My name is Mitchell White. I am a business administration major with an emphasis in accounting, and I made a Sac State. My name is Andriana Antone, and I'm a marketing major, and I am made at Sac State. Here we go. It all comes down to this. There's the handoff. He's going to left. He's got an opening. What a move. Look at him. At the 20, the 15. He's going all the way. Touchdown. Wow. What a success story as this kid has come out of nowhere. And now look at him. This is a real game changer. The fans, they're going wild. Talk about a defining moment. Only here. Only at Sac State. This is pandemonium. Welcome back to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We are now going to spend some quality time talking to two of our most outstanding students, and all of our students are outstanding, so there's really no pressure here. Thank you for both for joining us. We've got Kimberly Lim from the College of Business Administration and John Hobbs. Thank you both. We're going to start with Kimberly. Kimberly, tell us a little bit about uh, the College of Business Administration and the Honors Program, which is kind of a special program. Right. Uh the first honors pr program just started last fall in 2012. Uh, we're the first cohort group. And what it is, it's basically integrating all these different aspects of a business and combining them all into the courses. That So it's giving us a holistic view. And what it is, it's preparing uh, students for managerial opportunities to be able to successfully do resource planning and better decision making in the business. So. And John, you are uh, very involved here on campus and clubs, um, but but you're obviously a serious student and, and a business major. Tell us about about what you're doing here on campus. Right. Well, right away when I when I got onto campus, I made it a priority to get involved with clubs. I think it's very important. A lot of employers look for some experience uh, with clubs and and extracurricular stuff. So that was one of my main priorities. I'm currently involved in several clubs. All right, so tell us about ASI and your involvement with that. Yeah, I'm actually the director of business for <laughs> ASI, so I, I represent the business school, uh, school on the ASI board. Okay, and there's something called the Student Investment Fund. Right. And what do you do, what do, you do with that? What is that? Well, the Student Investment Fund is a really great program. It, it provides experiential learning for finance students who are looking to get into financial management. So. We have about $250,000 that was given to us from UEI uh, to basically manage for them. So we put it into stocks in the uh, New York Stock Exchange and other stock exchanges. And are you making money for UEI? Yeah, we've done very well. I think we have a 17% uh, increase in, in appreciation. Very good. So this is real world experience for right. you. Okay, Kimberly, uh, tell us a little bit about your Sac State experience and um, how is the Honors Program, the College of Business, preparing you for what you want to do in the future for your, for your job? Uh, my experience so far has been pretty amazing. I've met some pretty amazing people, uh, my fellow cohort members. We're all from a very diverse background, but you know, we all build off of each other's experiences and I think that's going to be very relevant for the workplace because you're going to be working with all different types of people. So to be exposed to that early on is pretty cool. What's your, what's your long-term career goal? Uh, my concentration is in accounting. I'm very interested in working in the public se sector, hopefully in to get into auditing or a senior accounting officer. And John, your long-term career goals and how Sac State prepared you? 
Oh yeah, great. Um, so I'd love to become a, a junior analyst. It was great talking to you. Thank, you. Thank you so much for being here. And for more on this segment and the College of Business Administration, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. Ted Hoffman, Business Administration, 1968, and I am made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Mark Telluia. I'm majoring in business and my concentration is finance and I made a sex state. Going to Sac State was really a rite of passage for the beginning of the rest of my life. I'm very happy that we brought one of the world's largest video game companies here to Sacramento. I started Sleep Train after graduating Sac State in 1984. And it's really what built the foundation of who I am today. I think that Sac State has made me into a leader. Most importantly, I think it's made me into a confident individual. I'm open to any opportunities. I'm Laura Gonzalez. I'm Dale Carlson. I'm Mark Otero, and I was made at Sac State. Thank you both very much for joining us. Sang Bak, you are the Interim Associate Dean for Undergraduate Programs in the College of Business. And Payam Fardinish, you are a former student at Sac State. You can tell me a little bit about what's sophisticated and refreshing and very organic. <laughs> tell me what it is, Silk Road Soda. Thanks, Gloria. Silk Road Soda is an artisan drink and its basis is on the Silk Road and we find it in Greece and in Iran. That's where I grew up as a kid. So this is my grandmother's soda. <laughs> and we brought it to market by meeting uh, my business partner, partner in the EMBA program. Oh, and tell us a little bit about the EMBA program, um, Associate Dean, and how all of that relates to this. <laughs> so tell us about the Center for Entrepreneurship. Sure. As you just heard, heard uh, you know, a lot of brilliant idea on the market, like the Pyams had it. And uh, Center for Entrepreneurship is just for that. What can we do for those entrepreneurs who have great idea? Uh, at the center uh, for the tenant, uh, we provide a space. Second, we provide mentoring service, including advising. Explain how the center and the college has helped you with this idea that you got from your grandmother and that now is kind of, uh, well, I don't know if you got the idea from your grandmother, but the, the mixture came from grandma. Uh, tell us how the, the College of uh, Sacramento State how, at College of Business has helped you. Really what the college has done is provided a network, just a beautiful network of people and support and help. Um, in Sacramento in particular, we're not a huge city, but we're a wonderful village. And that village has really helped this idea spread. I met my partner in the program, and most of the contacts we've made to make it progress have generated out of this network of people. It's been, it's been a wonderful business problem, and, and the community is very excited about it right now. All right, and what else can you say about how you had this idea, but it didn't really take off until you did start working with the group? Yeah, I had the idea six years ago. But it was not until being involved in the program and finding a business partner and using the network that it really started to explode. And things are happening so fast right now. Even in the hallway before this interview, I was asking Dr. Bach, how, how can I maintain what's going on? And, and he's giving me cues. So that's, that kind of resources is very helpful to a startup, very helpful. All right, we want to ask you so many questions about where to get the soda and on and on and on. And what we're going to do is first, thank you both for being here thank and for joining you. us today. Thank you very much. But then second, say, for more information on this segment, College of Business, the Center for Entrepreneurship, you can log on to our website. Go to csus.edu slash made slash TV. My name is Manoj Kumar Manoharan. I'm studying business at Sac State and I made it at Sac State. Hi, my name is Liz. I'm a business major and I made it at Sac State. This is 
an exciting day for all of you. Graduates, your time at Sacramento State is just about done. After today, you will leave here an alumni. If you're the first in your family to earn a college degree, or if you're a veteran, will you please stand while we give you all a big hand? Please stand up. The Board of Trustees of the California State University and the California State University of Sacramento are proud to confer on Dale Carlson the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. It's a great joy and a great pleasure for me to be here today, to be amongst all of you and all that you have accomplished, and to sit and celebrate this day of graduation here at Sleep Train Arena. What makes the honors program really relevant to a business is that it has an integrated curriculum. It's in fact a curriculum that helps a student understand how all the pieces impact the others and they work together. Hi there, I'm Gloria Morago. Welcome back to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. And we are going to continue to spend some quality time with some students from the College of Business Administration. Thank you both for joining us. We've got Steve Wynn from the College of Business and Elba Morales. And I want to start off, Elba, tell us a little bit about uh, working, studying in the College of Business and how it's kind of preparing you for your long-term career goals. Uh, great, thanks for having me. Um, as you said, I am a College of uh, Business student. I'm a concentration HR. Um, I am actually a transfer student, so I'm from the Monterey area. It's about three hours uh, away from here. Um, just being with the College of Business has been a great experience. Um, as I transferred, I knew I wanted to be involved in student organizations, so that's exactly what I did. Um, my first semester, I began getting involved with HERMA, which is the Human Resource Management Association. Um, I was with them for two years, and then I became a president of the um, HR club. So it's been an amazing experience. Um, it's opened a lot of doors for me. And um, just working with students is great. All right, hold that thought, because I want to talk a little bit about opening doors. But we're going to go to uh, Steve Wynn. T tell us a little bit about what you do. You're involved in uh, a, a fraternity. So t tell us about that and why uh, you recommend uh, students out there that, that you should do this. All right, definitely. So I'm in Delta Sigma Pi, which is a professional business fraternity. And basically, our goal is to foster a leadership and professionalism. And the reason I joined is because my freshman year, I was really not getting anywhere in life. I was just going to school, you know, going home. And basically, my second year, I came back and I wanted to, you know, do something with my life. And basically, since joining it, my confidence has skyrocketed. What are your long-term career goals? Basically, I'm an accounting major. And basically, I was the VP of Finance for Adult Sigma Pi. And basically, I have first-hand experience of budgeting, auditing. Ella Morales, I um, want to talk a little bit about you and what you're doing after graduation. I hear you've got some news for us. This is something all parents want to hear uh, from, their, from their students. Um, yes, definitely. Um, it's really exciting. Um, so I mentioned before I was president of the HR club here on campus. That opened a lot of doors for me. One of them was being able to participate in an internship program um, through Target. Um, I started their internship program in the fall of 2012. Um, I then advanced the following year to be an advanced intern, um, and I was actually job offered in August. So I'll be starting as an executive team leader upon my graduation. And so really this exciting. isn't just a, a, an entry level job. You are getting a job uh, graduating from the College of Business as, uh, as sort of a, an executive in training, uh, or explain it to me. Um, yes, definitely. I do have to say that um, the classroom experience um, was great and that's what prepared me uh, for the internship position um, with Target. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's actually a management position, so I will be leading a team of about 50 um, employees. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing after, right after I graduate in June, it's in good May. 
Good Sorry. times, huh? <laughs> Good times. All right. So thank you both very much for joining us and, and sharing kind of your Sac State experience and, and what you're learning and how you're working in the College of Business. You've both been great. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Perfect. And I'm Gloria Moraga. Uh, if you want more information on the College of Business in this segment, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. Justin Hall. I'm studying at Sac State and I'm minoring in business administration and I'm made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Adric Job. I'm studying business with a concentration in finance at Sac State and I'm made at Sac State. everybody and welcome back. You are watching video from Sacramento State's College of Business Film Festival. Yes, CBA actually has a film festival and we are here to welcome Professor Akan Osklik and student Danae Michelle Hill. Thank you both very much for joining us. First of all, tell us about the film festival and how it relates to what you teach. Thank you. This film festival has been a delightful experience for all of us. Uh, we have been doing that uh, in the past two years. Uh, I'm an associate professor in the College of Business Administration at Sacramento State University, and I teach courses on uh, business communications, organizational behavior, and leadership and emotional intelligence. This project is supported by the Pedagogy Enhancement Award Program uh, of our university, which is a fabulous program that supports uh, new methodological ways to teach our students better. So uh, in this program in this project that we have done, uh, we focused on um, using a different method to help our students learn about leading with emotional intelligence and that was producing short comedy films instead of writing a paper. Okay, let me just interrupt, sorry, and get right to Danae. Tell us about your film. You're an HR major. I am. So you're majoring in human resources, but yes. tell us how this relates and what the professor's teaching you about employees and working in HR and how some employees are happy and some are not. So that's a big one. So yeah, it, away you go. It was great. Um, it was fantastic. We, it was a special topics class. So we formed groups. We ended up writing the entire script. Um, we found a location and just started filming everything. Um, it was great oh because God. it focused specifically on a theory that we were, it was ingrained into us. So it was really nice to see everybody's film to really understand exactly what we were learning as opposed to just writing a paper on it. It's not, it's not the same. Papers are more superficial and, and surface level a lot of the times, so. So Professor, let's just answer that question. How, uh, why is it that some employees are happy and others are not in their work? Well, there's a million dollar question, maybe even more. <laughs> and that's the whole idea behind all these projects that we are doing. I, I'm serious, it's a complex question that has a lot of dimensions to it. And, and actually in this festival, we focused on the leadership dimension. And uh, it, ha it has a lot to do with how leaders manage employees' perceptions. And perceptions are strongly tied to emotions. And employees are emotional beings. So how the leaders speak to the emotions of their followers makes a huge difference. So that was the focus of the festival. And that was the partial answer that they provided to that mm -hmm. question. And I guess one of the catchphrases I've heard is, how, how do you help as a manager help your employees whine or shine? Uh, who wants to talk about that? Can you tell us a little bit about the film that you produced or the, the it was a comedy sketch or comedy film? Sure, um, it was so much fun. It really helped us bond with our classmates. A lot of it was the group work. Um, and, and we just focused on different leadership abilities and how a manager can transform himself. Ours was transformational leadership. And we watched how a, a, a manager can transform angry employees into joyful employees. And just learning the different, the languages that each employee has and how it's different per person. When you talk about million dollar questions, there's so much we can talk about on this subject. But if you had to kind of sum it all up, and then, so, because we want people to come to your website and come to our websites, mm -hmm. how would you sum up this research and work you're doing? 
I'm doing research on emotions in organizations, mostly focusing on some discrete emotions such as loneliness and anger in the workplace mm -hmm. and emotional intelligence of leaders. And, and these are the topics that has a lot of subtlety in themselves. And teaching them makes them, teaching them makes it even more challenging. And as, as, as Donna has mentioned, when you write a paper, it tends to get dry. You tend to miss the subtleties. And when you are writing a paper on, a, on an emotional theory, mm -hmm. that, that limitation becomes even more important. And that's why we have developed this project where students actually had to get into the heads of the characters that, mm -hmm. that they were depicting in their films and understand the theory in, in, in real life, like how it happens in real life. So how this transformational leadership theory takes effect in real life and how does that speak to different types of emotions. This is so important because we all spend so much time at work. So this, this is just great information, great research. And what we're going to do is try to get as much of this information online on our website so that people can read even more about the classes you're teaching and what we're, the great work we're doing here with our students at Sac State. So uh, our students are just great. They are so creative and if they are guided in the right direction, they can do phenomenal stuff. And this project is one of a kind. I think there are very rare, rare projects mm -hmm. in the world out there that uses film instead of paper to educate students. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks. For more on this story and to hear more about the films and uh, this department at Sac State, you can log on to our website. CSUS edu slash made slash tv. Hi, my name is Katie Graves. I'm a business administration major with a concentration in accounting. Hi, my name is Sarah Ixta and I'm majoring in business administration, marketing, and economics. And we're, we're made, made at Sac State. I'm Alex Gonzalez, president of the university, and we're proud of all of our students who are made at Sac State. Next week on Made at Sac State, the College of Education could be called the foundation of the university. The training of education professionals has been a part of life on campus since its beginning in 1947. COE educates teachers, school administrators, school counselors, and deaf studies professionals. I'm class of 95, and it's so funny is that I actually started at Big Brothers Big Sisters when I was a sophomore at Sac State. So I found this job on the job line at Sac State. So without Sac State, I wouldn't be the CEO of the organization today. Get to know the College of Education next week. Thank you for spending some time with us and the College of Business Administration. We look forward to exploring more of our colleges and sharing the Made at Sac State story. And we leave you now with some film clips of the College of Business Administration's student-produced films. <laughs> <laughs>